That it is, that it is. By the way, you're gonna love the stream name that I picked today. It's actually very catchy. We should start, we should start the, uh, name, the name of this band. The name of the band is your stream name, huh? I put Prospector Paul and the Stanton Band. Ah, <laughs> uh, sometimes I think you like gaming with me just so you can name your streams. <laughs> hey, gotta admit, it's pretty good though. That is a pretty, that is a pretty good name. <laughs> That's pretty good. Clever. I like it. We'll let it roll, buddy. We'll let it roll. Come on, man. It's pretty good. Prospector Paul and the Stanton Band. There you go. You be the lead man. Oh, fuck. All right, I gotta get the game loaded back up again. I am doing that too. Had to go let out the chickens for my mom and get that shit sorted out. Is it all sorted out now? All sorted. Eggs have been fetched, chickens have been let out. That's what I like all, to hear. We're all good, man. All right, why can't I see my fucking mouse? Ugh. One thing after another today. That is. Come on. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and invite you from the launch pad before I jump in the game. Gotcha. I think I told you last night we couldn't buy the mole in game, but you can. You can buy it. It's on that uh it's on the Stanton I don't know, planet. At Lorville? Somewhere in Stanton, supposedly. When we get in, I'm going to have you do something for me. I want to check a setting out because if we got the same similar monitor as far as uh, length and all that, you know, even, you, is yours straight or curved? Curved. So then why the fuck is my UI zoomed in? I, I, I want to take a look at video settings from yours to mine. I want to see if there's a difference. I wonder if my field of view was either too low or something. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe. I think my field of view is like a 128 or something like that. remember I shall tell you momentarily all right let's take a look here so like I said just in comparison I'm running at 5120 by 1440 all right I got the same thing 51 5120 by 1440 full screen got it very high medium medium high Okay. Field of view is at 123. Huh. See, mine's at 125. Hmm. Let me try knocking it down to see if that makes a difference. I don't see why it would, but maybe it will. Uh, nope. That didn't do anything. Yeah. What is it you're having a problem with? Well, there's two problems, really, but problem number one is when I hit my I button, all of my UI and my weapons and everything is kind of zoomed in too far. So, like, if I choose armor, I don't actually... I get the armor, but it's kind of, like, too far zoomed in, like... That's hard to explain. You, you'd have to look at it to see. I'm, I'm watching your stream. So if you look on my right-hand side, like if I'm going to do ammo or something, you see how it kind of clips the top of the ammo a little bit? It doesn't actually show me the whole clip. If, yeah. I, if I want to move it to, you know, to another, combine it to whatever, it's like it's off-center. It's like it doesn't exactly go on it. It's it just like zoomed in a little too far. Like I should be able to see the whole clip because if you yeah, do mine it, does, mine does the same thing if I try to do that. But what about like, say like I get a piece of food here. You see how it's kind of less, like half the food 
You know, I, before I think I used to see the whole food. Yeah. Do you get the same thing, or am I just nuts? No, I got the same thing. Look, I'll boot up my stream in your channel, and you can see what I'm talking about. That's it's literally the same thing as yours. Yeah, it goes off the screen like your shit does. I don't think I have the food thing. Let me see if I got food or not. Yeah, I don't think so. Check on your, go to your right side of your screen and like um, choose the weapons or see what you have in the station. Uh, uh, armor, ammo. You don't I definitely got, don't have nothing. You ain't got shit. Ain't got shit. Which is really weird because I've had shit there before. Which is, I had to do that red jumpsuit and stuff because I was there the other day. I don't know where it's going. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know, but mine looks the same thing as yours does. Like, I can't see the whole top of the water bottle or uh, anything like that. Maybe it'll get fixed in the next patch or something because... It's I always found it a little strange. Like like before, when I pulled up something, it was yeah. You can see the whole clip. You can see whole everything. But on this one, it looks like it's cut off a little bit. So I just want to make sure it just wasn't me. Have you um, since you got your monitor? Did you ever put a flash drive into your computer and do the update for the monitor? No. Because if you take if you take a flash drive and put it into your um, computer and you go to the website for Samsung they'll have an update for it and then you fucking put the update on the flash drive and then in the back of your monitor you have a USB port plug it in there and then go through your monitor settings and you can do an update on your monitor maybe something I should look into With the yeah but it looks just like it looks just like mine. I mean, I did the update, and it still looks the same to me. It don't, it don't look any different. Yeah, so I guess it's not that thing. Maybe it's just, you know, something on their end that they have to adjust or whatever. Might be. Because in other games like Call of Duty Warzone, no problems, no issues at all. You know, nothing zoomed in, nothing like that. So it just might right. just be secluded to different games. Maybe. Like Daisy, I don't have that problem, except when I'm selecting sometimes certain uh, items if it's on the far right of my screen it'll kind of it won't stay in the center it, it'll be kind of off to the right a little bit right uh shit minus minus a you hiccups here and there. I mean, I love the screen though. I mean, I got such a nice view and it looks, just looks nice. Yeah. I enjoy the shit out of it for sure. That's shit, it. I gotta leave. Let me grab my cigarettes. I'll be right back. Oh, get up.
Welcome Goodbye. to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Please visit us again. Get up and be like, I gotta do one thing. Next thing you know, there's fucking 20 more things you gotta do before you come back and sit down. You got your cigarettes out. That's the most important thing. Most important thing. Alright, so we have, uh. We need to make it over to that planet and get the mole. Um. I'm, I'm already here at the planet, I'm on the uh, station above it. You're Lorville, right? I am on Everest Harbor, which is above Lorville. I'm on a station that is um, orbiting the planet. Okay. I guess I'll get my shit and make my way over there. Welcome to the Wasn't that where we bought the prospector at? Yes. See, I didn't see the mold there, so I don't understand why this video is saying that it's there. What are you doing, Arya? Huh? What are you doing? Where the hell are you at? Oh, you're at Arc 1. Uh. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval Guess System. I will make my way to you. Vehicle selected. I'm gonna, well, while you're underway here, I'm gonna fly down to the planet. I'm gonna see if it's actually there or not. Where's that? I said, since I'm already here, I'm gonna fly down to the planet and I'm gonna see if it's actually there or not. Yeah. Well, if it's there, <clears throat> if it's there, let me know and then I'll transfer the funds over into your account. Clicked hangar one and it somehow ended up in somebody else's bay. Ain't that something? Yeah, I went and found an asteroid last night and was trying to mine it, but see, they told me I had to get, uh, told me there were two modules that I had to buy for this shit. I, I, I'm just theorizing here because I've heard about it, but I believe there's a dumpers depot and there's a mining a bit and there's an attachment bit that you put onto your ship and that allows you, uh, like when you mine it, it'll suck it in as well or something like that. Right, I had to buy the mining head, which I bought, and then it said two modules and I got the two modules, but the modules weren't showing up. Like, I had like eight of them in my inventory, but I couldn't put them on my ship for some reasons. I couldn't figure out why. Hmm. So actually, I'm gonna go here and go buy those modules again and see maybe if it was just a bug last night. I am, where am I at? Am I in new baggage? Fuck am I? No, I'm not. Where the fuck am I? I'm at Arc. Uh.
Landing gear. Yeah, Raised. Fuck it. Let's hope the Hershey. Because if I get that other mining ship, I'm gonna buy it anyway. You are free to launch. If my buddy Crazy Games pops by, I'll be sure to ask him. Um, he does. He knows the game pretty well. But I, from what I understand, it just needs a couple of attachments and then, you know, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. mine it. Yeah. Like I said, my biggest issue last night was I couldn't get those two fucking modulars. Like, I bought, I had eight of them, but I couldn't get any of them attached to the ship. I got the Lancer head to work, no problem. Thank you. Got it on the ship, just the modulars I could not get on. I believe you have to store the ship to your, you know, to whatever, yep. where you're at, and then you should be able to put it on it. It could have been a bug, you never know. Well, the other way I'm coming to you, so we'll figure it out. Star Citizen developers, if you hear me out there one of these days, Will you please give me a different fucking symbol for a city and a spaceport and, you know, <laughs> you know, give me a little difference instead of a pentagon or a triangle, you know, give me something different, please. Surely there's a shape that's much better to use. Morning, Mr. Roulette. How you doing, buddy? I was going the wrong way. I was going the opposite direction of where the airport was. Indeed so, Mr. Roulette. Indeed so. <sighs> you 
made it. Supposedly, this lower veil is going to get reworked in the uh, next patch, like it's going to be a little different. All I want them is to optimize it. Every time I come here, I like like shit. Yeah. What's that for 318? Yeah, it should be coming out at the end of this month or next month. Yeah. That's the same place that we bought the prospector. I did not see the mole there. How you doing, by the way, Mr. Roulette? Hopefully you're doing good. It's very possible. Maybe, maybe I overlooked it. I don't know. All right. Do you know what the brand name is, or just you only know what this just goes by Mo? Argo Mo or some shit like that, but uh, the brand itself, I don't know. I have to look it up again. If you want a good combat fighter, the Gladius in my, is a supposedly one of the top three ones. Uh. Transporter. I don't want a transporter. Argo Astronomic or Astronomics. Uh... Ah, there it is. So I see the Argo Mole here. I see the MPU V Cargo. Light Freight. Yep, so 5 million for the mole. Is that the one you're looking for? Yep. That's the one. I still find it odd that that piece of shit is only a one-seater, or does this one have more seats? That one's a four-seater. That's up to a crew of four. The one that I've got, the Prospector, is only the one-seater. Yeah, the one that you got is this one right here, right? Prospector, yeah. The mole has three mining heads, so you're mining twice as much. And then we'll have to figure out how to uh, we'll have to figure out how to fucking take it all to the furnace and break it all down and to get more money for it all. I believe one of two things is true. I think when you land your ship inside of a bay, that you can leave the ship there. And then you can go to where we're gonna do, and you can sell from inventory, or you have to break it down, or you know something like that. But I, I know some things you can sell from the ship directly if it's there in the bay. Yeah, you can sell the raw ore, but you're not gonna make as much money as you are if you um, if you run it through the furnace. That's why they say run it through the furnace, and you're gonna make more money that way. Do they have a particular place or furnace or station? I know some of the stations have a furnace. I believe here. the same station that you're at has one or where I'm at one or the other. I think it's uh, Arc 1 that has the uh, that has it. So I'm not even going to bother. Well, I guess I could bring the prospector. Yeah, I'll just bring the prospector there where you're at. Actually, let me do. Uh, let me send you the cash to buy that. Uh, where the fuck oh, trader? Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. How much was it? I believe it was five. I want to say you said it was like 5.1 or 5.2 or something. 
Maybe even 5.5, I can't remember. Uh, Argomo, 5,130,500. Alright, so you should have... Should have that in your thing now. I do. Thank you, sir. You want me to go ahead and buy it? Yep. Yeah, go ahead and make that purchase, and then I will make my way to you. Definitely take a look Maybe around. if my fucking joystick's Got actually working. Great stuff in if it's not, then I'm gonna throw this whole fucking computer out in the street. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got that. Now, need, I want, does it already come with shit, or I need to go buy the attachments and all that? It comes with attachments, but it's not gonna come with what you want, so you're probably gonna have to get on Google and find out what the best attachments are for it, or... Because this one came with attachments too, but it wasn't what I wanted, so... Alright, while I'm waiting, let's post up the old Google. Because certain mining heads and certain fucking modulars are going to do better than others, so you just have to see which one's the best one for that particular ship. Alright. Help me by opening yeah. this fucking door. This seems like a good one. My mole configuration that will earn you millions. 700,000 per run. Oh shit. Hey everybody, welcome back. To I'm just reminded about Lyria. Like our videos, please hit that like paint. And I know that it won't keep crime and smash change the paint and i know that it won't keep you or maybe out in the belt a little bit better and make it just a little bit harder to shoot you and it's a simple thing to do so as always we're going to go back to urkel.games and that is where we look at our mining configuration and test out different components see how they are going to impact the ship one of the first things that we did is we changed out the power plant to something that's a little bit better Unfortunately, we're going with an industrial size C because the size A, last I checked, was running like half a million credits. And that's just a little bit too steep for my tastes. Now, always change out the quantum drive if you can. You want to be able to travel faster from point A to point B, but more importantly, you want that cooldown to be as short as possible in case you need to run. And then in this case, we went with the Hamera. We also went ahead and changed out our shields. As we've discussed in the past, it's always nice to have a little bit better shields on your ship. Looks like I'm going to have to go to a couple of planets here. You enjoying your day off? That's what I like to hear, Mr. Roulette. Ship in case you make a mistake or in case somebody decides to shoot at you. And so in this case, we went with the, the size two ramparts, and that's what we decided to use on our mold today. For those of you who are not familiar with Urkel.games, don't worry, we'll put the link in the description below so that you now onto the utilities. Obviously, we're putting the Lancet MH2 mining lasers in the forward slots, and the reason that we're doing that is because this laser, while not more powerful than the MH1, it does have twice the maximum range and optimal range so you can you can stand off those plantanium rocks a little bit further and that is really the big advantage to the lancet mh2 mining head now if you watched our prospector configuration guide you'll notice that i'm running pretty much the same things in the sub item slots that i did on my prospector we're Did, but it didn't. Funny, cause I could have swore we looked for that mole yesterday when we got the prospector, and I didn't see that mole in there. I had to have overlooked it. But 
but maybe we got discouraged because it was five million. That might have been what ended up happening. Yeah. Because <laughs> we weren't sure about how we were going to get that money. <laughs> turret weapon slot which is my helix mining laser the amount of so if you don't want to scout with your mole you can fly the mole to by genie then retrieve your web markers remember you need to know how to calculate how many SUs of minerals a rock has fortunately this finding the cluster I only pay attention to Harvest, use your fracture in the order of the least valuable deposit and its fragments of the green zone. This will require Well it seems straightforward, I just gotta find the find where all the attachments are at. I know you can buy all the attachments for the prospector over at Babbage. Because I bought all mine over there at the common center at Babbage. So I'm assuming you can buy those same attachments at the same place. You're just buying it for a different ship. Most likely. Well, I guess once we get here, I guess we'll venture out and see if we can buy some shit. Yeah, I'm 3.6 away. Well, to Hurston, and then to Lowerville. I'm why you doing that. Let me see what I can buy. But I would assume if you could buy those same mining heads there, you should be able to buy them for the other ship as well. And then we'll have the fun of finding quantum titanium or quantum whatever the fuck it is. Indeed. Is mold. Hey everybody, what's the bell so that you're notified when new updates come out. And it's a simple thing to do. So as always, we're going to go back to Urkel.games and that is where we look at our mining configuration and test out different components, see how they are going to impact the ship. One of the first things that we did is we changed out the power plant to something that's a little bit better. Unfortunately, we're going with an industrial size C because the size A, last I checked, was running like half a million credits. And that's just a little bit too steep.
for my tastes. Now always change out the quantum drive if you can. You want to be able to travel faster from point A to point B, but more importantly, you want that cooldown to be as short as possible in case you need to run. And then in this case, we went with the Himera. We also went ahead and changed out our shields. As we've discussed in the past, it's always nice to have a little bit better shields on your ship in case you make a mistake or in case somebody decides to shoot at you. And so in this case, we went with the, the size two ramparts and that's what we decided to use on our mole today. For those of you who are not familiar with Urkel.games, don't worry, we'll put the link in the description below. So, it looks below. like so the shields can be bought at New Babbage. Shields at New Babbage, so that's one stop. For a new drive, looks like we're going to have to go to Crew L1 or Crew L5 at Platinum Bay. Okay, that makes sense. Really? Outfitting a ship, we hide because this laser will not more powerful than the MH1 it does have twice the maximum range and optimal range so you can you can stand off those quantanium rocks a little bit Further, and that is really the big advantage to the Lancet MH2 mining head. Now, if you watched our prospector configuration guide, you'll notice that I'm running pretty much the same things in the sub item slots that I did. So, it's like I can buy. Shubin and so it looks like two of these things. Yeah, it looks like I can get some of these things at New Babbage. Did under not a charge window. That's what we decided to use on our. Alright, where you be at, Paul? I'm coming into my landing bay. Well, coming down to my landing bay. Our mole today. Aha, uh -huh. I see a 50 llama. You want me to go ahead and get my vehicle out for the right hanger? Yeah, I'll Welcome be in there in just a minute. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Uh, uh.
not big enough for you. That's what she says. But, I mean, I want fucking the size of the hangar big, you know? Not today. I'm sure we could find something that big. Alright, I gotta go out and store my ship and then I will be to hangar 10. Sounds good. It's definitely different, that's for sure. It's got a lot of, uh, lot of rooms in it from what I understand. So that's a turret room. I never, I never driven one before. I don't think so. It's, it's a new one, or I never been inside one. That'll make two of us. We got a lot to learn. <laughs> All right. So when you come up the elevator, the left and right side are the turrets. Say hangar ten, huh? Hangar ten. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, we got another that's a nice little kitchen here. Found a pilot seat. So we gotta do what? Uh, gotta go to fucking New Babbage. Um, Crew L1 and New Babbage, but we'll head to New Babbage first, I guess, because it's the farthest journey. I guess the question would be is where do we need to go to mine this fucking so called ore? Supposedly, asteroid belts out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, where do you get in this bitch at? Underneath it, you see one uh, little light. It says elevator. It'll be right in front of you, so like, you see the light on the ground? It looks dead ahead of you, straight, and you'll see like a little blue icon hovering in the midair. Then when I'm in the pilot seat already, um, which is up the ladder on the right hand side when you get out. Or when you get in, I should say. You are clear to launch.
ready. We're good. Behemoth. Yeah. <laughs> be a slow ride. <laughs> and thank you, wanted a bigger ship. <laughs> well, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I was, I was hitting spacebar, I was like, why can't I get up? Then I realized I have to put it in VTOL mode, which utilizes all the engines to, like, to get it off the ground. It's all going to be a learning experience today. I would say so. I need to put a better engine and stuff into it. That'll that'll make it a little better too. Yeah, quite good quantum drive. You got all the money, honey. Make it happen. You're the one with the money. I want to thank you everything I had. I ain't got nothing left. You're full of shit. Got to start making money now. You're full of shit. You're telling me you spent a hundred million in in one day already? I mean, it's not hard. You like ships, you buy them. <laughs> I saved 10 million just for this thing. Uh, I got nine, 922 million. Uh, I guess I should have drank something before I fucking came out on this journey. Well, you got, uh... Oh, you mean character-wise? Yeah. Alright, let's see here. We need to go to Macrotech, I believe. Well, actually, we're, where's L1 at? Ah, screw it. Let's go to Megaton first. And I said we could utilize this kitchen. Screens would all light up for the guy in the fucking passenger seat instead of just the driver's seat. What do you mean? Your screens are up balanced. They're all black. They're not lit up like yours is. Um, turn them on. Either look at the screen in front of you, or I think you might want to hit you. Your screen should turn on though. No, they're not turning on. The one in front of you, if you hold F, you don't have like a turn on power button? 
Nope. No, I do not. And you don't do anything. All good. I shall be back in a moment there, Quantum Driver. Right, take your time. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely we're getting there. Right. We're almost there, honey buns. Yeah. We got uh, a little bit left to go. Long way to go and a short time to get there. Twelve million kilometers to go.
So I'm assuming to use the mining turret, either A, I can do it from here, or B, you'd have to get down below, because I noticed there's like a slot down below where the mining laser is. I think you can do it from different areas of the fucking, uh, different areas, I think. Should be there um, soon. We're only five million away. Nice. Hi, baby. What you want? Huh? What do you want? <clears throat> You're a brat. You can't sit in my lap. I'm trying to play games. <laughs> so I'd assume, like, if you get a pilot, they would get in close, and then maybe you down below, like in the pilot seat, to drill the ships, maybe? Well, I know there's three mine, three mining heads. So, I know a crew of three people, I think, can mine at one time. I'm assuming that's how that works. I don't know. I've only watched a single player use this. Well, I guess we're learning one way or another, right? Yeah, pretty much. That should be coming up to it. Oh. get all our bits and pieces and then go find a damn belt that's going to have Pontanium, I think it's what they're getting because I think that's the best paying ore. Yeah, I've seen uh, some guys saying like you can make 700k a run or something like that. Yeah. Once we get an understanding of it, we'll have the mole and then we got the prospector as well or I can buy another mole and we can take two moles out once we both get the hang of it. New Babbage. It's probably gonna be on the other side of the fucking. On the other side. Boy, this thing is not graceful, I'll tell you that much. No. Alright, fuck it. Come on, Daddy Richard, you got it. Get it done. Show us how it's done. There we go. Got it now. Uh. Wake up, Paul. Wake up. I am awake. Uh-oh. Going upside down. Land to some bitch at night too. Hey, you got this. Don't be scared. Oh, easy, baby. Airport. New Babbage, uh, it's going to be straight ahead to your right just a little bit. Alright, keep, keep looking up, keep looking up. Alright, oh, you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see Not 
Now from here we just jump on the tram, hit up the commons, and run up the stairs and hang out left. And buy yourselves a few things. Yep. And then hopefully you don't have an issue with getting all the attachments hooked up. I couldn't, I, like I said, I bought, by the time I was done with the modulars, I had eight of each modular and I could not get either one of them to hook up to the fucking prospector. I am going to separate from you once we get off the tram because I'm going to need to go get fucking food and drink. Well, drink most definitely. And then I'll meet you back there. Well, the food and all that is going to be in the same spot, so... Yeah, it's going to be in the same spot. I'm just going to be in a different area. Everything you order is going to be ordered off of a machine outside the uh, store because the store is not open or anything like that. It's just a computer. I'll give this ship this much. It's got a lot of lights on it. Oh, a whole lot of lights. That it does. Uh. All your viewers must still be asleep today. Most of them are going to be asleep in the daytime. Or they'll be at work. Yeah. Different time zones too, like Mr. Roulette is in Canada and he's like on camera. I've always forget which side he's on, but he's like behind or forward of me in time, one or the other. See on mountain time? No, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, well, when, I'm, when I am at night, He's working his night shift or something of similar. Gotcha. Hell. A slow fucking ship. That's a fucking show. Once I upgrade it, I might be a little bit better. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. And I got this baby full throttle too. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've given me more than enough. Gave you. 500,000 last night and give you 2.5 today, 2.5 million, so I should give you about 3 mil. Plus whatever you had prior to that. So. And you got a ship. <laughs> yeah, much appreciated. Doesn't matter. You've given me money and I knew if you, I know if you had if you had more money to give out, you'd have gave me more, so not a big deal. That request has already been granted. Now, here's the uh, interesting part. Can I fit this big basset into a top-loading deck? Yeah, man. You're a professional, remember? What I am, man. I'm doing this losing altitude. If anybody can put it in that little hole, it's going to be you, buddy.
better come up. There you go. Come down. Bring, bring her down. Bring her down. Uh, I good, just want look good. Look good. Yeah, I just want to make it right through the center. Yeah. Look at that. Like a glove. Put those landing gears down. <laughs> Is the tail in yet? Yeah, you're you're, you're in. You good, man? Beautiful. You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. How can I be blocking my own flight lane? That don't make sense. You may have to move up a little bit more. You're in, but you're sitting right on the edge of that thing, so you may have to you are blocking an slide her up a little lane. bit. Please vacate the vicinity. I wonder if it's bugged. Uh, come up with it and move it in a little bit. Hang on. I think I don't want to get a. I don't want them to bitch at me yet. I'm gonna have to pull away, then I'm gonna have to redo it because I think um, if I try to dock in there, even though it is mine, I think it's um, bugged so they'll find me. to get away from the station. like coming all this way to get a crime step. You sure about that? I mean, I, I don't care about being a criminal. Exactly. I'll tell you what, if this cryptocurrency I've been mining for the last three years takes a fucking value in the next three years that it's supposed to do, I'll be set for fucking life. I'm the same way. Like, I have a lot of it, but my, my currency just went to shit. Well, I've been mining... The stuff called Pi, you can mine it from an Android or an Apple iPhone. I mean, it don't cost nothing to do it. And I've been doing it for several years now. And uh, it went up on the market, and then Pi got in touch with everybody and told them that it wasn't not to sell out because it wasn't legit. But it gave everybody kind of an option, or not an option, but gave everybody an eye into what it was going to sell for if it carried the value it went in at like uh 217 dollars a, a pie and i did the math on mine and where i've got it locked up for three years it was like 178 million dollars so i'm hoping that it holds its value all right let's try this again
Is it me or are we going down really fast? We're going down fucking super fast. I think we lost some engines there, buddy. I think we did. It's okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. I already got it under control. Got it under control. Mm, no. Buy a five million dollar ship, and this is what you do with it. <laughs> All right, we got a turned over, so that's a good sign. I don't know if it's just gravity or or what. I don't know, but this isn't looking too promising. <laughs> well, flying is the easy part. I guess landing isn't. Well, what did you hit to get you to go into to, to the, to, to, I mean, how did you lose all that? I mean, we'll come down quick. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the weight of the vehicle. get off this fucking tree and then I think I might be okay. There we go. Alright, at least we're off the fucking ground. Looks rough, buddy. Uh oh, yeah, that it is. Uh -oh. No, no, uh -oh. no, no. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. You're an expensive fucking date. <laughs> On the bright side, well, you shouldn't lose your gear. What do you think? Jesus Christ. That was hard to watch. But hey, it made for great viewer content. <laughs> Lost my gear, man. It should be in the uh, station uh, thing. Man, I've got all my red gear that I had beforehand. Can't take you anywhere. God damn it. Well, the bright side is, guess where we're at? New Babbage. <laughs> oh, I'll take it back. I'm not. I'm at fucking Arcor. God damn it. <laughs> it's alright. You should be at New Babbage, though. Yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure... You know what happened? Oh, negligent homicide! <laughs> I got a I got a crime stat for killing you. You son of a bitch! Fuck! Is it a level one? Oh, fuck me! It's a level three. Nice. 
Can't you pay a fine to get rid of that? I heard that you can pay fines now instead of doing jail time to get rid of crime stats. It's a level one or two, sure, but this is a level three. I cause grievous bodily harm, apparently. Wait, this side of interesting. Maybe since I'm at the airport, I might be kind enough to let me. when you get a level three crunch. I'll see if I can pay off that, uh... I'll see if I can pay off my crime set. If not, you, you might, you might be, uh, you might be... <laughs> I think I was reading or I read or watched or something that, uh, you could pay it off now instead of doing jail time. Thunder. Thunder! There should be a terminal somewhere where you can fucking do it. I don't remember where it was at. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have any of my fucking uniform or anything, and then I got a black screen, and then my game crashed, so now I'm relaunching it. Yeah, it, all, anything, like, when I died, it's all in my local storage area, so you didn't lose anything. I'm not 100% sure when it comes to the flying on, but like, why it drops so fast. I had VTOL on, which gives it power for lift, because if you're just in the bay by itself, trying to lift it up with spacebar doesn't have enough power. So I don't know if coming in too fast, you know, just too heavy for it. I wasn't sure. Yeah, none of my, uh, none of my shit's in here under local at all. Uh, make sure you're not looking at your filters. I got all this fucking... 
can't get rid of none of it under logo. And then I got a fuck ton of med guns. <laughs> I have no outstanding fines. Damn it. No? But they're shooting at you? Okay. I guess what I could do is buy me a tiger claw and try to get rid of my crime stem. Maybe, but pretty sure you're going to have to file a claim on it, and that's going to take six minutes, and even if you expedite that, that's going to be still two and a half to three minutes. Uh, you're going to have to run around for that amount of time without getting shot. Uh, yeah, all right. I don't actually see any guards, believe it or not. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I gotta go buy my whole new uniform again. Your insurance claim Thank has you. been sent. And it wasn't in your inventory? Nope. My stuff was. It was not. Bye. Nope. My red jumpsuit thing that I had was in there. A couple of my uh, under the undergarments were in there. Some helmets, weapons, Dovlin, and uh, med pins. That was it. Med guns. But that's okay. I wanted to wear something different anyways. I was getting tired of that color. So, when it's not like I don't have $922 million to fucking spend. <laughs> What time you got to go into work today? I have, let's go. I got three hours before, you know, three, three hours to good play time. So we got plenty of time. system well this is gonna be interesting because the turrets are gonna shoot at me at all times. Um, wherever I go yeah I'm almost tempted like if to just kill myself and go to jail and then I can just get myself out probably quicker than it would be to go to Grim Hex, get a, a storage thing, get and then go to and then try to redeem myself, but eh fuck it. 
Oh, because from what I understood was that you could pay now and you didn't have to go to, uh... Vehicle selected. Stand by. Whatever your transaction, we wish you a beneficial and... Your vehicle has been delivered to the police. Thing here says citations of payment system. Yeah. It says I have no outstanding fines and I cannot pay any fines, but my crime stat is still a three. All right. Maybe. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars, our corp is proud to bring the universe closer together. Our corp, investing in tomorrow's future. Well, I'll tell you one thing, players are going to be coming after me, that's for sure. Yeah. The bounty hunters. See what happens. In comparison, the other one is only about 200, 250 at best. Mine is doing 1220 just to get out of the star system. That's the advantage of a lighter ship. Yeah. Let's see if I can survive Grim Hex. If not, oh well. You shall soon find out. Filthy Llama. Yeah. Trying to find a fucking 
dressing place here to buy all my shit. Uh, you would think the commons should have something. I'm looking. Factory line, installer, contract service, trade develop division. Faster than light carrier, center mass. There should be an armor shop of some sort lying around. Center Mass is just a gun place. I'm assuming you're jumping back this way? I'm having to go to Grim Hicks first to see if I can clear my crime stat. I don't think I can land at at your area without getting shot the hill. No, probably not. I can't believe it. I can't believe it fucking crashed on me. I'll be back momentarily. Okay, okay.
bottom drop is now up. Uh, I, well, to give me this, I made it to Grim Hex. Bad news is, I never could figure out how to land in the motherfucker. Uh -oh. Got that part done, let's see what happens. Off the top of your head, you wouldn't know where to buy a tiger's claw here, would you? Nope. Sure would, buddy. Let me see if I got one in my inventory. You play this game a hell of a lot more than I do. <laughs> well, apparently all I got here is a suit.
Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Couldn't do anything there. Let's see here. Away from elevators and left and tucked back in the corner hallway behind red doors with flashing screens. Floor B7, room 3, okay. Find it? Uh, not quite. Now I'm stuck. Um. Shift. It done broke on me, Paul. It broke. Uh oh. Hell, at this rate, Paul, you may end up having just having to <laughs> get your own at this rate. <laughs> right? Yeah. This plan fails, and I'm fucked. Maybe that reset did it, because now it says I have no crime stat. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Oh, well, if that's the case, fuck it. Works for me. Yeah. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Now here's the fun part. Can I get out of Grimhex without being shot down? Your vehicle has been delivered. Oh man. People are ruthless out here. Yeah. Only time will tell, sir. Vanguard waiting right outside to Oh, what are we doing? Where are we going? I'm gonna come to you so then I can get my ship and then we'll fit it and then we'll head off to see what happens. Is that ship here? Yeah, I crashed it over there. I have to, you know, get it back, but it is over there. Oh, what the hell? Now my current rating is back up to three. Oh. Why the fuck would it tell you you didn't have one and then it just gives you one? Very fucking sense. <laughs> well, I guess back to Grimhex. <laughs> you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna kill myself. It's about the same. Might as well just let him fucking kill you. And fucking, uh... Yeah, I'm already, I'm already under, uh, scrutiny anyway. I might as well just attack another ship say to hell with
I'm gonna straight up attack another ship and see if I can't die. If I go to jail, Paul, we'll see how bad it is. Yeah. But I'm going down fighting. Fuck it. It's almost, it's almost going down. Someone's going down. Take them all down, man. Don't take no for an answer. I'm doing the time anyway, might as well kill somebody, right? Might as well. What do you got to lose, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna buy a Stampede Modulo. That's one. And then I'm going to buy a Surge Modulo. That's one. So now those both should go... ...into my ship when I hit F1. How you doing, Lady Revan? Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? Maintenance and service. Nope, that's not where I go. Uh, vehicle loadout. Select my ship. Prospector. Let me throw those over there. I don't understand why I've got those, but they won't fucking equip. You attacking another player? Yeah. Tore my ass up though.
Well, let's see how bad the jail is. Hopefully, it isn't too bad. Should be able to pay your way out of it, hopefully. Well, I'm glad to see that you're doing better, um, Lady Riven. I'm glad to see that you're doing better. Oh, I can't believe this. I died, and then it put me right back on the goddamn station. <laughs> I'm thinking today's not your day for fucking, uh... Well, did you ever make a new Discord, Lady Rose, since you forgot your last account? Again. I got stuck again, motherfucker. You're yeah. <clears throat> not having any luck there, buddy. So he's telling me that the problem is with the setting main display. Yeah, this rate, Paul, by the time I get to you, you might as well fly and buy a ship and maybe I'll get to you in time. <laughs> right. it, might, it might take me a few minutes. See, see, folks, if I didn't fuck up, we could have already been mining and making millions by now. Probably not.
Kaczynski. See if Mr. Sam can help me with this. If anyone can figure it out, Paul, Zap can. Maybe. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. <coughs> Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Please visit us again. Please visit us again. You shouldn't have any warrants on you now, should you? It shouldn't. Hey, there he is, Mr. Sapp. It's it's like why the frick is Discord forcing me to re-verify my frickin' email every time I try to do something? What the f? Oh. Wrong with these people. Anyway, yeah, as you were saying, um, it looks based on what you're showing me. If that's your primary monitor one is selected, I guess you put the first picture in after the second picture. I guess. Um, yeah, if, if number one, the big monitor, that's your main display, and that's where everything should load if it's full screen mode. If it's Windows mode, then it may be dependent on the last state of the window when it was last closed. Hmm. Because I'm running, well, right now we're playing Star Citizen, and I'm running in full mode. 
And on my main screen, I have three icons on the left side of my screen, but every single other desktop icon I have is on my other monitor. And I remember switching something at one point and actually put it back, but then they put it back over there. Yeah, and, and there are certain times that I've seen it happen several times before with some Windows state, and I'm talking about you know Microsoft Windows software some state will change and it'll like forget and it'll put it'll screw my desktop up all over the damn place put it on a different monitor and at that point uh, if i can't revert back then i just rebuild it on the monitor where i want it because any of those icons and folders and everything you know the shortcuts um once you move them around it'll remember where they are whether on the primary or the secondary you know the main display or tertiary secondary tertiary display so you may be at a point now where it's like it's it it knows where everything is and thinks that's where you want it and you'll have to just manually put it where you want it and then you know uh, log out log back in to force a save to your profile and uh yeah but as far as everything else is that that should be the way it is right yeah, yeah. Like I said, you've got it set right. If the blue monitor to the big monitor number one is your main display, you've got it set as the main display. And when you click on number two, that checkbox should be available and, and unchecked. So, you know, if you wanted to switch it, you certainly could. But yeah, it looks like you've got it set properly. Yeah, I was just wondering if I had did something wrong. And I was like, why the hell is it keep going to my left monitor? And then it should have been on my yeah. main monitor. And, and, uh, you're... Just landscaped, and what's the other settings? I'm trying to see. Uh, you've extended, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that there's there's ain't nothing damn thing wrong with it. Uh, I know sometimes one of my monitors I'll, will be turned off, and it'll put the monitor that's on the right on the left. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to go off the right side of the monitor, and I can't go off. The, I got to go off the left side to get. The, it's weird. When you gotta gotta love windows and um i was looking into their tile horizontally vertical stuff and there's a, a guide on how to set it so it'll start working again because it's it's in some kind of ai anticipation mode that doesn't work when you've got monitor set up the way we do um Interesting. And so i've been trying to get that work and i still can't get that to work so it's like welcome to microsoft <laughs> the Microsoft will do it to you. Microsoft will do it for to you, yeah. But what I was saying about the games is that when I'm designing a game, I can tell it, you know, when I'm doing cameras, you know, I can tell the camera to be on display one, two, three. You know, I think, I God, it's a huge number of displays I can go up to. Uh, that, you know, it's all Windows capable of running, you know, you know, lots of monitors all at the same time. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I could actually tell the program to run, always run this camera in a window on display too, if I wanted to. Uh, kind of like you've seen how Microsoft does it, you know, where you're playing Microsoft Flight Sim and you can move these panels off to you know, your side monitors or whatever. Uh, same kind of concept, but if the gamer, the, whoever programmed the damn game, you know, forces you to be full screen or forces some other things and is, is running that behind the scenes and not giving you control over it, well then, you know, you're kind of like <laughs> at the mercy of the guy who programmed it. It seems that way, because see, um, me, Paul and I have more or less the same monitor or the width and everything, and it's both curved. On my monitor, for whatever reason, um, my... Uh, how should I say like some some games like it's a little more zoomed in than others But I think that's more or less the game rather than just you know our side Yeah, yeah I was just curious about that, but it's good to hear your lovely voice again by the way Yeah work is keeping me incredibly busy and, and like I said with the wife's having surgery and issues with the folks and everything else but I'm so burnt that it's like I, uh, you know, I just want to go in and lay down <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> you know, so I'm, things look like they may be easing up on me a little bit here. I love to, I, I guess Beard was playing some, uh, playing some Eve, and so I was fiddling around with that, and I'm still running the Rust server, so I don't know if you're doing that at all, but, uh, yeah, I'm around. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Always uh, monitoring 
not necessarily playing, but always monitoring. And Mr. Fall has suggested, he goes, get a hold of Zab. Maybe he can help you with set up your monitor correctly. And I was like, yeah, let me let me hit him up and see what yeah. you know. Do you have multiple video cards or just a single? Uh, just a single 3070 Ti. Yeah, yeah, I've got... Uh, I'm actually running two video cards. I'm running my old older card and my newer cards. The newer card obviously is running the big main, you know, gaming monitor. But all my subordinate monitors are run off the old card, you know, because I mean, I'm browsing, you know, and run, looking at code pages on those monitors. Anything that has to do with 3D is, is always going to the center monitor. I don't know if you've seen me share when I'm developing or not, but uh, but yeah, that that can confuse Windows as well as having different monitors on different cards, but... <laughs> now, if they were all the same size, would that make a difference, or having smaller and bigger ones throws it off? Uh, well, it, that throws off the, you know, if you're, if you're trying to tile, tile windows and do things of that nature, it, it can hang you up where you're trying to, like, my mouse will be hung, like, at the bottom of one of my side monitors, and if you look at it, there's a gap at the top and the bottom, you know, that's not covered by the, the middle monitor. So if I'm trying to go from the left monitor all the way over to the right monitor, and my mo mouse is waiting at the bottom, I can't go. It gets blocked because it can't traverse that empty space. So I've got to I've got to move it halfway up the first monitor, then move it over, and then move it down. <laughs> the little foibles in, you know, and that's purely, you know, Windows trying to constrain the monitor to the visible area. You know, if you do a, a if you've ever done a desktop screen print, it, you know, just hit the print screen button. It'll get the whole desktop. You'll notice you'll have a big black space above your monitor too. Ah. Because that, those pixels and that information is actually in memory. If you, if you think of that as one big, huge block of memory, whatever the maximum, maximum size resolution you've got down there is a block of memory it reserves. It just doesn't draw anything in that black space above monitor two, but it's there. Trust me, it is there. <laughs> oh my God, I can't go to jail, Paul. I've killed myself three times. It just won't let me go. <laughs> I still got that on you. That's another good question for you, Zap. So, how do you know resolutions? Like, you know, you got 19 by 20, no, 1080, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. There's an endless, endless list of resolutions, possible resolutions. So what I had to do on my, from a streaming perspective, if it was a regular 19 by 20 by 1080 monitor, it would be full screen. So anytime you're looking on a phone, anytime you're looking on TV, whatever, it would take up the whole screen. With a wide monitor, you cannot do that. You have to, like, if I want to get the, my entire monitor to fit into the screen, I had to use a certain resolution. Yeah. I'm going to second. Herein, herein, lies, herein lies the rub. Okay. Um, first order. Well, I was say. I have it all in the game and everything, but I have black borders on top and bottom. Now I put a picture in the background to fill it in. Is there a way I can make that wider so it takes up more of the screen? You, you, okay, as you know, a lot of games have FOV settings. Uh, unfortunately, they don't give you independent uh, settings for height versus width. So the, you know you can zoom in or you can zoom out, but you can't you can't stretch or, or or do other anomalous things. So they, like I said, they know what your monitor resolution is running at, and so they're adjusting the camera frustrum, uh, you know, uh, accordingly. So that's why you get the wider angle view there. Um, as far as streaming and stuff goes, what I was going to say is you want to start with your target. You know, not with not with the bullets. So, what's the target? What's what's the resolution? The most common denominator resolution that everybody's going to be be running to watch what you're doing, 
And then, and like, what is it? Uh, I was using OBS before. I don't know what you're using now, but I know you could create, you could create regions where it's not grabbing the whole desktop, it's grabbing the region. Um, then, you know, you have an issue of interpolation. Whereas if you're running a very, very high resolution monitor, um, that proportionally equates to 16 by four. Now that has to be compressed down to 1080p to, to be streamed to everybody else. So your next step is to get the game running in the same resolution as what's being, you know, received by the other end. So in other words, you're eliminating as much interpolation as possible. The software doesn't have to spend a lot of time crunching the image down to send a frame to somebody. It's, you know, it's one-to-one. -one. It just can go straight through. Um, and like I said, the downside of that is now you've got to play in a small window instead of full screen. So for streaming, yeah, you know, you're, you're going to, you know, if you want the best possible bang highest frame rates, you're going to have to run it in a window and only stream that window. Yeah. See, uh, I was trying to find a way around it where I want to be able to play on my end full screen, you know, but at least be able to have people who watch me see it on for their end full screen. And the only way I could do it, which is what I did now where even though I have bars up in top. Yeah, and, and like I, yeah, like I said, in, in OBS, you know, I could I could define the size of the window. And so I could create I could create a sixteen by nine, a proportional you know, sixteen by nine whatever window and center it in the monitor. So they're not gonna see the extreme right and the scene left. They're not gonna see the notes or anything that pops up on those extreme sides, but they'll see the main part of the game, which is the part directly in front of you. Um, outside of that, then yeah, you've gotta, you've gotta run in diminished capacity if you wanna stream and let them see everything. Yeah, so I, I mean- yeah, or, or you give them, you give them letterbox where they've got the black above and below. And that's what I ended up choosing was below and below. I have like just a some background picture in the background to fill in the gaps so it doesn't look totally black. You know, it looks fancier mm -hmm. now, but they can at least see. Yeah, you know, game. and you can put the text chats and the pop up, you know, things in there, and your little video can all be be plastered down there and utilize that that empty space. It could all be, um, you know, uh, you know, set up that way, but. Yeah, that, that's the downside is if you're running full res on that wide monitor, then that's gonna have to be crunched and interpolated down to the end product. So what I'm doing right now, it basically is like you're at the movie theater watching a wide screen movie. That's basically. Yeah, yeah. I just have to live with it. You know, but I was trying to find a way to keep the ratio that I have now in length, because it fits in perfectly. You got the game and everything, but I was trying to figure out how to make it wider so I don't have as much black bars on top of bottom. Um, yeah, again, you'd have to go windowed mode and then, you know, find find your happy medium, maybe not go as wide in the windowed mode and then just stream the window versus the, the desktop. Right. But on the base canvas, you can't say like, if you leave the forward number alone, the second number, you, that couldn't be changed to make the whole thing different or you know like yeah yeah you, you you're only allowed to select the the resolutions it's a functionality of everything um that's all you got is what what the resolutions they give you is all you got to choose from uh, so there's no way there's no way to override that except at the game level itself which is by running it windowed and then you know getting getting the size you want um i was just having a discussion there was a, a security flag popped on my computer we've got uh some old software that was been you know that's a, a threat you now it's in a backup folder not being addressed by anything Welcome but it's still on the computer the need to get rid of well the guy's system. looking at my desktop and he noticed that i have a different desktop than the rest of the company and i can't show it to Your you but you, you can see it on mine if you've ever seen i've got that box like in the middle of my uh my screen i don't have an image back there that's because when i'm developing everything's got to fit in that window so i'll have this i'll i'll run this window by default because that's my target system so i'll have a frame set there and then i can stretch the window so it fits in there so the other guy running it full screen with the windows header and footer and everything else showing up the you know the big x the little x the expand collapse all that other windows title bar crap is visible um 
I can size that window to fit inside that box. And now it's like, okay, this is perfect. Everything is showing, everything that they need to see is there. And if somebody's running a higher resolution, uh, they'll be fine. Um, if they're running the target resolution, it's all there. If they're running a lower resolution, well, then they're gonna have to zoom or do something because you know this is the spec that I'm having to design to. So that's a trick you can do there is go into paint you know, grab a desktop, create the box that's ideal for your streaming purposes and Welcome put that outline as part of your desktop background. System. And then you can run the game windowed and just size it so it perfectly fits in there. Um, and then you can get, like, for example, I use OBS as a reference. Then you could say, okay, go grab this part of my desktop, which is where that window is. And now you've got it. Okay. So that's that's the only way you can jump around. Anyway, I've got to jump. <clears throat> uh, the wife is screaming at me to go take the dog out, and he's probably scratching at the door. It's time for him to go. <laughs> so, uh, but I'll I'll be back. I'll be back in about you know ten minutes or so. All right, buddy. Appreciate the help. Right. See you shortly. Bye. If it's one thing I like about Zap Paul, I always feel like it's a learning experience every time. Yeah, he's a pretty smart man. Alright, I'm gonna try something now. I am going to try and get myself killed at the station. But then I'll get a warrant, and then I'll go to jail. Not if you pick the, uh, the call to arms and then pick the suspect apprehension. If it sees my name on it, then you can kill me and you get a lot of money. Because I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal right now, in theory. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't hurt you. Gotcha. Check this ship out, Lady Ribbon. How do you like that one? Oh, fuck. Let's see, in theory, if I attack this port Oliosar, maybe it'll send me to jail. Maybe. Just maybe. Somebody took me out. Well, we'll see what happens. I am six million uh, kilometers away from Hurston.
Is Lauraville the only place you can buy ships at, or is there other planets? Um, Area 18. Area 18. Finally! Finally, I get to jail. <laughs> Does it have different ships than Lauraville has? I believe so, yes. Ah, uh, yes, the one I was using, Lady Ribbon, was a light attack ship. Alright, let's see what the damage is. One hour. Ah, oh, shit, I can just create. I can do one uh, mission and I'll be out in 10 minutes. You'd be able to pay a fee to get out. Does it Man. not offer you that? Well, I gotta re log because my UI is messed up. Yeah, the worse your crime, the longer you gotta stay in there, but an hour and a half? Shit, I can just do this one mission in here, I'm in and out, and we're back now in Now that, that might be something that they're introducing with 1.8, but I'm pretty sure I've seen in somebody's video that they said you could now uh, pay so you didn't have to do the jail time and the mining. But that, not like I said, that may not be coming out until the next patch, I don't know. It could be a 3.18 thing. Yep, work release program. What is the biggest ship in Star Citizen now? Um, there's something bigger than an 890. I'm trying to remember what it is. Maybe a Carrick? Or... there, There's one that is like, you see it, it's like humongous. You're like, holy shit.
contract complete. Good one. Yeah. Right, this is where it wants me to be. For the most part. Oh. You should have been able to hear my answer now, right, Lady Ribbon? Um, I didn't answer your question, right? You know what we need to do, Paul? We need to get you into voice acting like I do so that we can make you famous and you have millions of dollars. Yeah. That much for Falcon. But you got jokes, though. You got jokes. For days. days, my friend. We're done. land rovers go land somewhere and drive around if you have a big enough ship you should be able to fit it into it maybe I think the cutlet should be big enough to do it a white ship I think the cutlass might be big enough to fit one in the back of the bay oh yeah I'm sure it could cheap well you want to know even more good news I'm right above you right above me or right next to you I should say I uh, they put me on the station here next to Hurston 
I'm right next to you. Nice. It's good. Good, good. The Origin 890 jump is fucking 32 million. Is that a big ass ship? Uh, what was the name of it? The Origin 890 jump. Looks oh, like yeah. it says it's a luxury. You know that boarding mission we did? That's the 890 jump. That's the most expensive ship I've seen in here so far. There should be another look. And it's about the same price and size. Would have to be at that other planet because I ain't seen another one. That's 30 something thousand. The Xi'an vessels, uh, Lady that Revan? The is the biggest one that I've seen here. I'll see if I can. Find the vehicle thing and I'll check it out for you. Or 32 million. The next priciest one's the. Uh, where's that? It's the uh, Starfer Gemini. Comes in at 6 mil. Six mil. The Agus Reclaimer is oh, okay. in at fifteen mil. Star Citizen. Star Citizen. Is that what this is? That would yeah. be correct. Oh my god. I'm almost half tempted to buy this fucking hammerhead just because it looks like it's fucking huge. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, that putting in a 3070 Ti made a big difference going from a uh, 1070 that I used to have. Yeah, I can imagine it does. Not on my Christmas list as yet. Check it out. Got some hard drive issues I gotta sort out. I got three hard drives, and two of them already have full. <laughs> I got one, two. Six, six, I think I got seven. You got seven hard drives? Yeah. Ah, damn. Yeah, I got two. <laughs> well, maybe if we combine all of our power together, uh, Paul, we'll get it to him. Maybe. What the fuck hangar did it say I was at? Hangar 11. Uh, yeah. Nice choice. I got my new headset ordered. Hopefully that'll solve the problems. What kind did you get? Maybe. Same as I got before. The G935 top-end Logitech gaming headset. Ah, they don't even look that big. Uh, what was I forgetting? Discord. Nice choice. So do you do any more Eve, or are you feeling the grind? I haven't. Um, I haven't been back on it. Um, messaged Hercules the other day, but he hadn't said anything, so. Just haven't boosted it back up. And then uh, I was talking to 
talking to Richard about Star Citizen and asking him if he was interested in doing any mining on this, and he was, so we bought, well, we got two mining ships now, but he lost power in one and it went down and blew up and killed us, and then he got fucking wanted levels on him and he's been spending the better half of the last hour and a half trying to get rid of his wanted levels. <laughs> Why would you be wanted for crashing? Because he killed me. Oh. According to the well, game, I cause, I cause a grievous bodily harm to another person. So he was punished yeah. severely. Uh, yeah, that's, just, that's a bad mechanic. That should be something that Beard would have to submit. Yeah. You know, well, if you're crew on a ship and it crashes, it's kind of like well, you were there of your own volition and realized the risks. It's not like he... Exactly. Well, in a party system, it should have just been, you know, he's in the yeah. party, shouldn't have counted. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. It should not have counted that. So, bug in, there, bug in the code, man. Bug in the code. Well, the new patch 3.18 comes out. Supposedly, they fix a lot of things, but I won't... Know. Yeah. Look at all turns. I'm lost in this ship. I have no <laughs> clue where to go. What is this? I don't want to go down. Barry, show me how to get to the bridge. <laughs> Bang, that... a little blue line shows up on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I have no fucking clue where the uh, pilot seat is in here. What the hell was I doing before I so rudely interrupted myself? This thing's got like fucking eight turrets on it. What the hell? Airlock to what? Eight turrets, you said? Well, I ran across four rooms and in each room had a turret seat in it, so I'm assuming, yes. At least, at least four fucking turrets. Look. Eight hard points. Look, there's, uh, there's Turret, there's Turret, then we'll go down the hall here. Hey, uh, Lady Ribbon, how's my character look? Pretty sure we're gonna find a Turret there. It's pretty good now, huh? And a Turret there, so that's four Turrets. And then where you think the Captain's seat is, that's a fucking Turret, so that's five fucking Turrets. Go sit down, enter Turret. No. That's five fucking Turrets, and I've yet to find the Captain's seat. Do you need Daddy to come down there and show you where it's at? Oh, you better settle the fuck down. <laughs> Going down. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. It's one of those, uh, you ain't got room to talk for blowing your shit up. <laughs> Buy you a $5 million ship and the first thing vehicle you do is selected. blow it up. Hey, I, I, I burned down the house. Why, why, can't I, why can't I blow up a ship? Exactly. Your vehicle has been delivered to the See? That's the turret key that I was in. There's gotta be another fucking floor. Or maybe that's the ass end of the ship and Yeah. Okay, so the front of the ship's gotta be okay, sense though. Your test work, I saw it. Huh? Uh. I'm putting that in the wrong place. What the hell was I thinking? Well, I'm in hangar 11, I believe, is the hangar that it's in. I should be there soon. Business as usual, eh? <laughs> yeah. How much? 
See, when we when we game with Paul, we game we go for an adventure. Yeah. 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 What else are you supposed to do? What do you want? You're digging at me. Every time I pick you up and put you in my lap, you jump down and run off. So I'm not fucking doing it no more. You got a no shower and work digging. and. Some more videos. Sounds good, Lady Revan. Uh, don't forget, um, if you haven't remade your Discord name, you know, that way you can get a hold of me. Turret. That's a fucking turret. Because I know last time you were having troubles with it. you think there'd be, like, signs. You know, turret one, turret two. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? We don't need no stinking guns. All right, cargo and engine room to the bridge. Please proceed to assign landing bay. A little glitch there. Frontier ship just disappeared for a few seconds. Which uh, hangar bay are you in? Uh, I believe it's 11. Number 11. So many fucking doors and rooms in this fucking thing. Going up again? I was going to go down. Alright, fuck it, let's go down. Up, down, left, right. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Please visit us again. No uh, computer terminals where you can pull up the uh, ship diagram or... You are here. That would be nice. They turn access. Well, I've gone pretty much everywhere I can think of going. Yeah, I thought it would be bigger when I was looking at it. I mean, it's long as hell, but that's about it. I'll give you a doc. Too much ship as this is. Well, one could argue a rich man's ship. <laughs> one could argue that. Favorite line, like my favorite line from Dawn of the Dead. 
It's a pity. The only man who could afford to buy this rifle is the only one who could miss with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, for the most part, the ship's all fucking started. We just gotta find... ...the bay where we, uh... ...where we fly the goddamn thing. Alright. Yeah. Instead, there's like fucking... ...eight of those bitches on here. We know that back there is a turret. I'm pretty sure this is a turret. Oh, there it is. Bridge. Ah, fuck, I was on the bridge. Hey, look, I found uh, the bed. Ah, there it is. I found the palace seat. Thank you. Where the hell are you at? Um, go to where it says bridge, like, get right above it, and then just take the elevator down. Hop in the pilot seat and take us for a ride. There you go. I'm not sure if you can do it from the co pilot seat, but. Yeah. I want not an now zap. If he crashes the ship when he flies it, he can't he can't talk shit. <laughs> uh well. <sighs> Let's see if we can even get it up off the fucking ground. Systems offline. Think we're gonna have to go find all the engine rooms and turn all the engines on? Systems <laughs> what it looks like um let's see here it won't come up off the ground i'm assuming that there's more engine rooms that need to have hit engines. your k button hit your k button and it should put you into vtol mode and then try hitting your space bar to get it up or however you get up Nothing. Systems offline. All right, let me try on my side. Maybe, maybe you have to be in a pilot seat. I don't know. Get up, motherfucker! You have no power. Huh? No, I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up out of my fucking chair. Ah. Alright, hang on. Let me try it. Oh, there you go. See? It does work. Yeah, I think you just have to be in the pilot seat. There you go. You're left to wreck it now. <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna get out of this seat and you can take it over. Landing gear up. You've wrecked. You've wrecked one five million dollar ship. You might as well wreck a fucking thirteen million dollar ship. There you go, sir. It's all yours. I'm gonna go check out the turrets. I can't even get out of my motherfucking seat for some reason.
Oh, that's not good, Paul. That's not good. Turn the, turn the power back on. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. I have no control over this ship, and I cannot get out of the fucking pilot seat. <laughs> yeah. Hold why? Nothing at all? Nothing. Not a, not a damn thing. All right. Try relogging it, and what I'll do is I'll take it up to space. That way we don't crash and burn. Uh, I'm not going to log out until you're back in the seat. I don't want it to fucking crash. I'm assuming you're back in the seat. Yes. I don't don't know why, but I couldn't get it out at all. I'm spamming the shit out of fucking Y and nothing. Niente. There it goes. So when he logged out, he picked himself. Well, I guess the next stop is to buy the $32 million luxury ship. Why not? <laughs> Money to burn. That's why they I call don't... him a sugar daddy, uh, Zap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the pizza and hot wings last night. I ended up just getting some like fucking McDoubles from McDonald's. That's Maybe it? Maybe I'd do the pizza and hot wings tonight. That sounds good. Pretty good. Alright, let's try this shit again, huh? Let's see if I spawn in the ship or if I spawn in the. I'm gonna bring it to a halt. I may not go in the ship. I may go right back to my bed in my new Babbage. I don't know. I don't know where it'll put me. Well, I don't think we're getting any mining done today, Richard. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, if you can't even get the miner out of the parking lot. Well, that's not even the miner. Could be an issue. <laughs> the miner that's not out of the parking lot is the one that he blew up and hasn't filed a claim on yet, I don't think. Oh. I, I was referring to as in the person who is doing the mining, not the equipment thereof. <laughs> well, the one that was doing the mining would have been the one who wrecked it. Who wrecked it. <laughs> Who still has to file the claim on it? <laughs> really? Yep. I, I'll get it back eventually. Yeah, I don't think I'm on the ship. I might be. But uh, I don't know. I might be on the ship. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, we're at a standstill right now. I don't know where the fuck I'm at, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm in Lauraville still, so I have to make my way to. And you, you, fuck, you can't bring anything down, can you? Yeah, I can. I'll come right back down to you. I thought you couldn't do that because it uh, glitches you. Well, I mean, I'll get it at least in, and then I'll, I'll uh, see what happens. I should be able to land it in there. We'll see what happens. Find my fucking way out of here would be nice.
Please proceed to assigned landing bay. I don't crash it this time. I just wonder if maybe in the other ship there was a setting or something that was messed up. Uh, I think it was pilot it was probably pilot error, no doubt about that though. Really? It's going to give me a top loading bay for this big thing? Just my take, luck. Take what you can get, man. streaming anymore so it's just like <laughs> oh he's no. streaming on you <laughs> blew this ship up no no not quite i got it on the side i'm still flying uh half a ship <laughs> i was trying to land in my bay right another person was coming out of the bay and he struck the ship and blew it in half <laughs> you are a costly motherfucker this morning <laughs> yeah i literally have half a ship left Wow. That was well, that's uh it's nineteen million dollars. <laughs> put it on put it on Zap Zap's uh, tab. Do you, do you guys have insurance? Yeah, we I know you've got I know we've got that in Eve, but <laughs> Or Richard, today's not your day for Star Citizen, buddy. I hate to say it. <laughs> well, as long as you can get it down there in the bay, we can repair it, and you know, we should be uh, should be fine. I got it in. We're okay. Have a pleasant stay. My God. It only cost me twenty thousand dollars to repair, but don't worry about it. We got plenty of money. Plenty of money. Alright, what fucking bay are you in? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I parked it, so let's see if it'll let you put it in. That's what she said. It teleported me out of the hangar bay. Took you out of the hangar bay? Did, did you just... You must have stored the ship because it teleported me out of the bay, right? Yeah. Yep, that's what it did. Alright. We're okay now. Sure about that? Uh, Colossal Terror are you going to buy now? I don't know. What do you think I should buy next? Whatever you want. Okay. Welcome to New Deal Shipyard. Got it. Surprise me. Shake the hangar and surprise me. 
Got you. I'm spending way too much money. Exactly. Alright, let's go to... Take a wander and see what we have. There are some real gems today. Let's go to hangar... What hangar? Come on. Hangar 1. Hangar 1! Hangar, who's put elevator I got in, but I'm in somebody's elevator. That's mine. Is that you? I don't know. I said buy something, surprise you. So I bought something, it surprised me. I don't know if you can see that ship or not, but that's one big ass ship. Nobody's streaming, and I'm not on the uh, the, the other stream. I should be streaming in Discord. Uh, well, let me go back and look. Okay, I guess you are streaming again now. Ooh, something be wrong here. Salvaging processing, salvaging hold, or cargo hold. Have a dashing deck. I don't know. Uh, maybe have a dashing deck. Got fucking five decks on it. We can uh, re we can process our salvaging on this ship because it's a salvaging ship. Ah, so if we went out and did any salvaging, we could do all that here. It's a big motherfucking ship. It's an airlock, airlock. Down to the right, these look like rooms. Captain's quarters, up, oh, there you go, here's your room. Yeah. My room, nobody else's. Um, alright. Uh, at the docking area, this is the crew mass. Tech deck. There's a scanning station. Remote turrets. There's the pilot seat over here for you, Paul. Gotcha. Tractor beam seat operator. Oh, 
Warrior. Well, fire it up, take it for a ride. This is a claw operation. Big old fucking spider. <laughs> that it does. You take you an outside look and look at the fucking legs when you try to lift up. Not your usual ATV. No. How do you get it out of the bay if it's a top good it flies, I guess. About fucking slow. I thought that Argo was slow. This fucking thing is slow. Oh no! Coming down. <laughs> Not enough power. <laughs> See, that's the problem I was having with the other one. Like, you know, I guess you got to keep the power going. Yeah, man, I'd be able to fucking pull those legs in. As soon as I pulled those legs in, we were going down. I guess, hell, I don't know. I'm assuming maybe the legs out like that gives you the extra boost and power you need to get up and out. Thrusters might be bound into the legs somehow. Yeah, as soon as I let off the space bar, man, we're going going down. <laughs> Hit the well give us some thrust and see if we can't get it to go forward up in the air. Why are you guys trying to do this at a a populated planet city at night? I don't know, but <laughs> because ah, just just saying. <laughs> don't have a choice, Sap. Sure, you can't. Can't you take the ship that it's in somewhere else? And... Uh, that's what we're in the process of doing. If I can let go of the damn space bar. That's the ship, or that's the. Sure. Thing that was in the hole. Oh, okay. Maybe you need to turn the anti grav generators on. Uh, no idea. Or is that a thing? <laughs> you would think that it would be a thing, but I don't know. It seems like we're just falling back to Earth again. <laughs> Every time I fucking... The gravity generator is working, that's for sure.
I'm on your top turret now. I don't think we're moving anywhere. Get your shift button. You ever see if that boost thrusters will get you going? Your shift will be the extra boost. Exactly, we're supposed to be going. Head to the sky. Yeah. I know that. Right, you can't be up here with me, Dally. I'm trying to do something, and you're all up in my face. Tell them that's not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you I don't give a shit about this ship. <laughs> it's that red text top center. Warning restricted area below. Warning restricted area ahead. <laughs> So in other words, you're going to get shot down. At <laughs> uh, worst, it's going to put him in autopilot, and it's going to veer him away from it. But yeah, yeah. But we do seem to be going down, which is not a good thing. All right, what the hell do I need to do next? Are you trying to go down on purpose, Paul? Just... Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> I ain't trying to fly this goddamn thing. That's a piece of shit. I mean, I'm sure it serves a purpose to somebody, but not me. <laughs> I only bought it because it was expensive. Hopefully it didn't hurt the pocketbook too bad. Eight more dollars, I'll be another hundred million dollars richer. See it now. This is the one straight ahead to your left. Or right. I'm not sure which one it is. That bay door is shut in there, so it's not that one. Might be this one to the right here. The biggest one to your right? I'm thinking maybe. You don't see a blue marker over it? 
Uh, see all kinds of blue markers. Let's see, it's showing it's down here. Where is it at? Come on. Three little blue marker arrows going on, so I don't know if it wants me to go. I don't know which one it wants me to go into. I'm gonna go into this one. Fuck it. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You get fine. That's about it. I was gonna say, I think if you need that extra power, hit K, put it in VTOL mode, and it kind of puts you like in a little hover like mode, I think. What's the auto land? I don't remember. You have to hold N or something like that. I think this is it here. Well, that says to Drake. Oh, that bay door is shut too. Well, we're hovering now, so that's that's a plus. call call it the proverbial day sign landing bay shows right over here which is where I was at it can't be the one below you because that's somebody else that's about to come out but no it's what it's telling me it's telling me this one right here but somebody's there so I don't know that's that may be your landing bay and somebody else landed in there. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's possible this happened before. That's definitely where it's pointing me to. Yeah, that's exactly where it's pointing me, this bay right here. So this asshole that's down here needs to get the fuck out the way. Why would they put me somewhere where somebody else is landing? It's this one next door. That fucking thing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Not only is it slow as fucking hell, but it fucking sucks. <laughs> you talk about something that's not easy to control, that'd be it. Probably take a hard loss trying to sell this motherfucker to you.
to the airlock. This should be the elevator. Well, what else should we do? Want to fly a luxury ship? Better quit spending money. Where are we at money-wise? 621,000 or 621 million. You can always sell this thing and get and get some money back and buy a better yeah. one. Yeah, fuck this. I ain't keeping that thing. I think it's fucking retarded. Pay 13 mil, I'll probably only get about... <coughs> maybe if I'm lucky, 7 mil back. Don't they have a test drive program? No. No. <laughs> yeah, you can ride it out in like a day or two or three or seven. All right, it's not like my money was hardly earned. I literally paid $7.99 in real money for 100 million in game currency, so. Just so we could buy the mining ships and we didn't have to fucking go out and do fucking fuck loads of missions to get it. Uh, it's not really hurting me to sell it back by any means. Prod. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong server. Hmm. Huh, you can't sell ships back. Well, at least not right here, anyhow. So, oh, maybe stuck with that bad boy. No, apparently not. Queen. Yeah. May not want to spend any more money then. Hey, welcome to the new deal. We have a whole real nice stuff. Well, you want to buy one of the ground, uh, the ground vehicles, and we'll take it to a planet and land and go fucking ride around. <laughs> Could always do that, I guess. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, I think I'm going to bail on this Fandango. No blame. Oh. All righty, partner. <laughs> Until next time. Take it easy, Zap. Good seeing you, man. Yep. Yep. So, if you were to take... No rush like buying a new ship. If you were to take and... A whole bunch of new bring a ship out, how do you put the fucking vehicle in it? That's what I want to know. If it's black, you take out the ground vehicle and you just drive it into the back. Yeah, but you're going to be in a whole different bay than me. Well, you're going to you have to go to a whole different area to get the ship anyway. You have to go to the surface level and... And get it. I know the one on Microtech, how to do it on that one. This one I don't. Because uh, I got a, got a ship, but I don't know. So what should I do? Pull the ship out first or pull the fucking the vehicle out? You want to pull the ship out first and then we go to wherever they sell the grand vehicles at or, you know, wherever we can take it out at. Then they we sell try the vehicle in. here. Cause I just, I just bought the ground vehicle here. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle. I'll tell you what, pull out the ground vehicle. Let me pull out my Cutlass Black. 
Here's a sword here, and then wherever you end up having to go to get yours, then I'll just pick you up. In theory. Because on, on Microtech, it's a completely different area altogether. I'm not sure about here, though. Well, what the hell is that thing called? Why did it rent it? I didn't want to rent it. I wanted to buy it. You rented a ship the other day. Do you remember what it was I rented? Not too. I think this Vanguard warding warding is the vehicle. Possibly. We have totally lost track of what we were going to do today. Definitely not what I fucking picked. Give me some kind of weird looking ship. You are free to launch. Alright, you got your cutlass blackout? Yep, uh, I'm already flying out. I'm glad I rented that and didn't fucking buy it. Yeah, you have to pick these up somewhere else because even though I bought it, it's not in, it's not in my fleet hangar for some reason, so... Yeah, it's a completely different hangar altogether. I have no fucking idea where you pick those up at. There's usually a tram line that would take you to a ground level location. Like I said, I only know the one on Microtech. The one here, I'm not too sure. Let me come back. Let me land back down there, though. I gotta go grab something to drink real quick because I am dying of thirst. Of course, there's nothing right here. Fuck it, just let it Please kill me. Please proceed to sign landing bay.
Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. The old cup. Cutlass Black is like a universal ship. It can do a little bit of everything. Vehicle Retrieval System. Where the good news is, I got the... Yeah? Bad news is, we don't have time to go fit it in mine. <laughs> But I ain't working tomorrow, and if you ain't working tomorrow, then we've got all day tomorrow to figure it out, I guess. Yeah, I got. It. After tonight, I'll be I'll be off for a while, so all good for me. I'll have to work, but you'll have the mole, and if you feel like mining, you can continue to buy because you bought the ship, so it's your ship. Well, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy another one before I burn through the 60 fucking million I still have left. <laughs> and I'll probably end up fucking picking up another fucking 100 mil. There you go. Just just to have it. $8. I spent $8 on cigarettes all day long, so. You can afford a pack, right? Exactly. Well, I don't want to be here, so I'm getting back on. I'm trying to go to a place where there's some fucking food. Well, with that, I'll leave it here, uh, Mr. Paul. I'm going to get myself ready for work here pretty soon, so I'll catch you later on. Sounds good. I might be on when you get up, I don't know, or get off. Work Especially if I take a, take a nap. I might be up all night. Who knows? Sounds good. Well, we'll catch you later, sir, and thank you for the ship. Yep, no problem. See you. All righty, folks. Time to get me some rest. Not rest, but... Time to get ready for work here pretty soon, so I will catch you all later. So be safe, take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.